Most of us get bitten by a spider. We basically just wait for it to heal and wait for it to go away. But for a local woman who is allergic, it almost killed her. Yeah, this is a very serious situation. She realized she did not have her EpiPen with her. She needed police to come to her rescue. Julie Grant is live with more on this incredible story. Julie. Ken and Susan, that woman called 911, and it was police who made it faster to her home than paramedics. And at first, when they pulled up in their cruiser, they thought that maybe she was suffering from a gunshot wound or a stab wound because of the way she was rolling back and forth on the ground. But when they got up close to her, they saw that she was in anaphylactic shock and needed epinephrine. If we weren't able to get that EpiPen, I think she would have passed away in front of us. Several spider bites on Chrissy Zomparelli's legs caused her to have a deathly allergic reaction. Every second goes by, it feels like hours. It was around 7 this morning. Zomparelli ran outside to get some air, calling 911 before collapsing on her front lawn. With each breath, it uh, gets harder to get one. And you just feel you're not going to get one. Zomparelli mistakenly had only a tester EpiPen with her. The closest working one was in her purse at a friend's home across the street. She was uh, gasping for air, uh, you know, barely, barely breathing. Uh, so if we did not have an EpiPen or we weren't able to get her EpiPen, I, I believe she would have passed away before the ambulance got there. Police ran to the home and rushed back with her EpiPen. Lieutenant Michael Albanese gave her the shot. Probably within a second, you could see she was getting her breathing back. Uh, within 10 seconds, she was probably sitting up, you know, breathing fine. The lieutenant had never used an EpiPen before and thankfully was able to figure it out quickly and save her life. The chief of police believes this case is a great reason to change the current laws. There's no law or no act to cover us or, uh, or you know, to allow us to possess it as a prescription. In this case, we used her EpiPen, was prescribed to her. Especially with children, you know, a lot of them don't carry their EpiPens. It, it could be a life and death situation for them. Officer could be just the one to roll up on the scene at that time to save that child's life. And thankfully, the officers were able to save hers. Thank God my guys were there to um, figure out how to use it and uh, administer it to her, and um, I'm, I'm proud of them. Zomparelli was taken to Sharon Regional Hospital to be checked. Uh, she had a couple bumps on her head. She said she started seizing when she was going into the anaphylactic shock, and she said that she banged her head a couple of times on her stairs. But when police got there, one of the things they did was hold her head and protect it. Reporting live in Mercer County, I'm Julie Grant, KDKA TV News.